Hello everyone, just Kimmy here. Thought I'd come on and just tell you about what I've been up to today. Well, about a week ago now, I decided that I'd go and have a look in the charity shops. So I went and had a look in all the charity shops. And when I was in there, I saw this noddy, it was a cuddly toy. And the, oh gosh, he was in a dreadful state. He was just so dirty and I looked at him and I thought, Am I going to get him back? Am I going to be able to save him? Um, his shoelaces were missing and his scarf looked like it had seen better days or his kerchief, should I say, whatever they call him. Look at it, but and I thought, no, so anyway, his face was all dirty and his trousers and I thought, no, no, no I'm not going to. And I walked away. Anyway, it kept playing on my mind and I kept thinking, I've left him there, poor little noddy. I should have been brave enough to bring him home and try, but I didn't. Anyway, two or three days later, back in the charity shop, I had to go down to do some odds and sods, and when I was there, I thought, I'll oh, look at him again, anyway, I had another look at him, and I thought, oh, I want him, I really want him, but so much to do on him, he needs a bath, and he needs cleaning up, and he needs this, that, and the other, and his clothes, and, and I thought, no, I'm, I'm going to leave it. Anyway, I got up this morning, and my daughter went downtown, and I rang her, and on impulse, I said to her, please go in there and buy this noddy for me. So she rang me back, and she said to me, oh, mum, he's in a dreadful state. She said, his clothes are all bobbly and you can't take his clothes off because you can't get them be um, get them off. They're not meant to come off. And she said, Mum, he's got he's got no shoelaces in his boots and, and he, he's dirty, his face is dirty and his trousers. Mum, are you sure? So I said, Oh please, just pick him up. I can't I can't leave him now. I said, just bring him home. I know, I'm daft. But anyway, I said, just bring him home. So anyway, she got him home and we and we brought him in. And I looked at him and realised what she meant. Oh my Lord, I thought, what am I going to do? Am I going to be able to save Noddy? I need big ears to help me. Oh, and the, what's the policeman? PC Plod or whatever his name is. Anyway, so I thought, right, here we go. So I unstitched some of his bits, like his kerchief, which was attached, and put it on the side, straightened it all out. It wasn't ripped or anything. And then I thought, oh, this is good. So his little boots were actually stitched to the back of his feet. So I thought, well, I can get them off because if I can get them off, I can bath him, give him a wash, you see, wash him. So I managed to get them off. And then he had a couple of little tears, one here on the shoulder, a little one here. So I got some, some cotton as close as I could get and I, and I stitched him up. Um, and in the back of him, there was a little box which you took out and I it, mm, maybe it made a sound I don't know what it made but I've taken it out and I'm going to get some batteries for it and I will replace it I thought to myself if all goes well so anyway so I've done that um, I cleaned all his shoes off and washed them and made them tidy and I took him out and I got some really warm soapy water warm not hot and, and I kept his little bell out I didn't want his bell to go in and I thoroughly washed him and rinsed him and scrubbed him and then I put him in the tumble dryer to dry and I've got him back out and I put his shoes on and I had some yellow wool, uh, sorry, yellow ribbon to make into shoelaces and basically I wanted to show you how he's come out oh I know what I did because on his clothes he had all kinds of what you call them, pulls, tags, you know like material can go where he's been loved he'd obviously been loved and so I got a shaver pinched a shaver a, a, a razor for my husband and went over it and got all the taggy bits off so that was good news and then uh, I've managed I think to get him up quite well but I'll show you hang on I hope you like him look 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 can you see him look isn't that lovely? Look, you've got little tiny shoes. I hope you can see him. I was so pleased. He's come up really well. Look, his little face, his little back. See, in this bit, oh, excuse me, in this bit here, he's got this, eventually a little box will go back in, in that bit there. I don't know what it's going to say when I put the, if it even works, but if it doesn't, I won't bother to put it back in. Oh, sorry, Noddy. But the little bell, look. And I was just so pleased with how he came out. I mean, he was black, his trousers were filthy, his hands were black, it looked like I'd been making mud pies. His face all round here was filthy, and his clothes were all bobbly, and he was in a dreadful state. But I felt so sorry for him that I thought, 
I've got to bring him home and see if I can give him another lease of life. I just couldn't leave him there. And I'm so, so pleased that I did because he's come up wonderfully. A nice hand wash and a tumble dry. <laughs> and he's come up wonderfully. Well, that is what I've been doing today. And I wanted to tell you. I thought, tell the girls and boys what you've been up to. Tell them what you've been doing. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. But first, I'm going to say thanks to everybody that told me what they called their pets. Wonderful names. I'd love to have met each and every one of those little people. But anyway, thank you ever so much. Thank you. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>